Hello YouTubers, it's Forcey Natural here. Um, I got a question from Ngozi85, I think I'm saying that right, um, about how to detangle your hair when your hair is shorter. She has 4C hair. She says that tangling is, detangling is becoming tiresome, her hair is getting longer, and she asked if I had any tips. Um, and she said she couldn't get her hair into small twists, or twists in order to wash, so do I have any tips? Yes, I do have a few tips. Um, detangling, first of all, it's going to be, it's going to be rough. You know, I mean, it's not going to be easy. If you have 4C hair, then you know that it is dang near impossible to get a comb through your hair at any stage, you know, um, without a lot of product in it. I, for one, still haven't figured out a way to keep my hair from being untangled when it gets dry, or at least the point where I can manipulate it easily without having to pull sections or like getting knots. I haven't figured out a way to not get those. I see some girls on YouTube and maybe I, maybe, maybe I'm remembering wrong and their hair texture is different than mine, but I know some people are probably able to do that and I haven't been able to figure that out and I'm starting to think that, you know, either that's never going to happen or I just need to keep experimenting and working with my hair. Okay, so having said that, having said that detangling is going to be a pain, kind of no matter what, I will say this. <clears throat> One method that I use to detangle my hair is to um, detangle while I um, detangle before I, I rinse my pre-poo out of my hair. So I'll pre-poo with coconut oil and olive oil or coconut oil and castor oil or a mixture of one of those three, a mixture of two of those three um, oils. And I'll let that sit in my hair for 30 minutes or 15 minutes, 30 minutes, however, you know, whatever I'm doing during the day. I'll add conditioner into that while it's still in my hair and then I'll detangle. Um, the comb slips through my hair a lot easier. Um, knots kind of slip out of my hair a lot easier. It gives a lot of slip. So that's one thing that you can try to do um, to detangle. Um, that method has worked very well for me. Um, and so I do that from time to time. Also another method that I use, and that a lot of naturals I think probably use, is um, when I get in the shower, I will um, shampoo my hair. And when the shampoo's in my hair, I'll section it into four sections, one down the middle, and then, you know, a part down the middle and then going from like ear to ear and then so I'll rinse the shampoo out of my hair and while I'm rinsing the shampoo out of my hair I'll get underneath the running water and I'll do this kind of motion with my hair I'll stretch it down pull it stretch it down pull it out stretch it down pull it out and so I go through very carefully in that section and I'll and I'll do that, you know, until the hair is separating nicely and I don't have any big knots in my hair. So I'll go through each section and I'll do that while I'm under the water, the running water. And I make sure the water is is hotter than colder because I feel like when the water's hotter my hair separates a lot better. I don't know, that's just me. That's my feeling when I'm in the shower doing this. Um and then from there what I'll do is I'll add my conditioner and instead of just rinsing it out with the conditioner in my hair with the loose hair, so my hair will still be in four sections um, and without hair clips or anything. I just section it and it'll usually stay. So um, without rinsing the conditioner out of my hair, I'll grab clips like hair, hair clips um, and I'll put those sections up into the hair clips. I'll either do a big twist or I'll just twist the hair around itself, you know, anything so that I'm not um like scrubbing my hair like this or doing any kind of motion where it's going to get tangled so gently pull it into a twist if your hair is shorter you can just grab whatever you can you know put it pin it up with that clip so what i do is after i get my hair pinned up in those clips then i stand underneath the shower water and i let the shampoo rinse out of my hair so i'll take down one clip and i'll kind of squeeze my hair once or twice squeeze not ruffle it up, you know, squeeze it, kind of get some of the extra shampoo out, put it back up in that clip, squeeze it, put it back up in that clip. Um, and then when I get out of the shower, 
then I'll, if I have to detangle, I usually don't like to detangle twice. So I find standing under the water, the running water, is detangling for me anyways. Um, some people need, some people feel like they need to detangle more, but I feel like that's detangling for me and my hair is never going to get to the point where it's less detangled than that. Even if I run a comb through it, you know, my hair is, it's going to tangle up. That's the nature of my hair. Um, so then I, I'll proceed to do my styles, you know, do twists or whatever, and then kind of just finger pull and detangle like that if it needs any excess. But usually I find one of those two methods, either the pre-poo with conditioner, combing it through, or even, you know, even doing a finger pulling with just the pre-poo in your hair, um, or running it under the shower water, which has been awesome for me, especially when you section your hair in those four sections. The worst part that I find, and I think most naturals find to detangle, is that crown part of your head, you know? And so if you're sectioning your hair off in sections and not allowing that, not allowing the, that section of hair to pull together, that has worked wonders for me. Um, it's just, where it's just been amazing. You know, detangling is, I cut down my detangling this last time, but I would say, I would say that it took me, the last time I detangled, I think it took me an hour. And that is major to me because my hair never takes an hour to detangle. But using those methods has really helped me cut down on my detangling time. And I think also just realizing and accepting the fact that maybe I'll never be able to run a comb through my hair and not catch a snag or, you know, my coils are already forming up and, you know, I think you know, I'm starting to feel like that's okay. You know, as long as I'm not letting my hair clump together and letting a lot of shed hair stay in my hair, then I should feel okay with that. And that's hard to accept because you see a lot a lot about detangling um, on YouTube, and so that's kind of hard to get used to and accept. And, you know, you always want your hair to feel like you can, you can style it without having to pull knots. Not knots, but tangles. That's what I, I keep saying knots, but I mean tangles. Um... So maybe that, maybe one day that'll happen for me, maybe it won't, but at this point I think I just have to accept that that's just my hair. Um, so I would try one of those things out, and I hope that that helps. Um, another thing that I do, um, another thing that I do before, if I'm not pre-pooing my hair and I'm just going to get in the shower and wash it, is I, I um, get a spray bottle, I add conditioner and water to that spray bottle, um, and I make it so it's not not thick, you know, but so that I can feel the conditioner in my hair. I don't know if you know what I'm saying. If you understand that. I don't I mean, It's pretty understandable anyways. So I get the spray bottle, I spray it in my hair, and I let that sit in my hair for like 5-10 minutes, and then the hair is so much easier to detangle after that as well. That's another method that I've seen some girls on YouTube employ, and that one works really good too. Um, other than that, you know, I'm still learning. I hope this has helped you. And I hope you try out those methods and let me know if any of them have helped you. And uh, if anybody else has any detangling methods for 4C type hair, <clears throat> go ahead, you know, feel free. You know, all of us are kind of searching for that, you know, for that day when detangling will be um, not so hard, not so rough. So, um, I guess that's it. Anyways, feel free to comment and leave any suggestions for Ngozi, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.